Hello, my name is Lucy and I'm a specialist nurse at St John's Institute of Dermatology. In this video, I will demonstrate how to apply occlusive dressing safely and effectively. Please note that this is a general guide and should not replace the directions given to you by your doctor or nurse. Occlusive dressings stick to the skin and are used to enhance the effect of some skin creams. The type of dressings we use are called hydrocolloids and there are many different brands available which come in different sizes. By applying the dressing over your treatment, this keeps it on the skin and increases its absorption, whilst providing a protective layer to prevent any further damage to the skin. Occlusive dressings are often used to make steroid creams more effective. However, using steroids in this way increases their strength and therefore should only be used under occlusion for a short period of time. Occlusive dressings are generally safe to use, however, they should be avoided when the skin is infected, as the infection could worsen. We recommend using occlusive dressings on the torso, arms and legs. Do not use on the face or areas prone to rubbing, such as the groin, under the breasts or arms, or between fingers, as they will not stay in place. Start by ensuring the area of skin is clean and avoid using moisturising creams on the area where you will be applying the dressing as this will make it difficult to stick to the skin. If the area is hairy, you may need to trim the hairs. Wash your hands. Check the expiry date of your dressings. Cut the dressing to size if required, ensuring a 2cm border larger than the affected area. Apply a thin layer of steroid or your prescribed treatment to the affected area. Remove paper backing and centre the dressing over the area being treated, then smooth out the edges. Press the dressing gently onto the skin for one minute to help it to stick. On areas such as the elbows, knees and feet, you may need to cut slits into the dressing to make it easier to put on. We would advise changing the dressing after 24 to 72 hours, but please follow the directions given by your healthcare professional. To remove the dressing, support the surrounding skin with one hand and gently remove the dressing with the other hand. On removing the dressing, you might notice a slight odour, which is likely to be the gelling agent in the dressing. Some dressings or tapes come ready impregnated with steroid medication. Tapes can be used on small areas of skin or cracked eczema on the hands. Follow the instruction on the packet for further advice on application. Occlusive dressings are an excellent way to make your prescribed treatments more effective. We hope you found this video useful. If you would like more detailed information, please download our patient information leaflet.